So there is a current flow and if here <coughs> I put a bulb, okay, if I put a bulb, then what happens? The, the excess electrons that were flowing from the zinc electrode to the copper electrode, they'll pass through this bulb and this bulb will start glowing. Right? So in effect, what have we done? From a reaction that was spontaneous, we have generated electricity. Okay? So from a spontaneous chemical reaction, chemical reaction, we have generated electricity <coughs> right we have generated electricity okay and what will happen after some time if you look at the electrodes what do you expect to see what do you expect to see the zinc ions so so zinc zinc atom has left two electrons and it is jumping into the solution okay so it is only leaving electrons so in effect the atom is getting out from this electrode right it is the whole atom minus the two electrons right so it is depositing the electrons on the leaving behind the electrons on the electrode jumping back into the solution here <coughs> what is happening the cu2 plus which is an ion which is nothing but 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 uh, copper without two electrons okay devoid of two electrons that is jumping from the solution onto the copper electrode so what happens after sometimes if you see the the zinc electrode if it was say something like this you will find the electrode is getting corroded okay so zinc zinc electrode gets corroded over a period of time over a period of time okay if you look at the copper electrode you'll find that you'll find it is it is gaining in weight so the copper electrode so the copper electrode gains weight correct this is how they look after some amount of time so it's visible to the naked eye yeah yeah it is visible to the naked eye yes pretty visible to the naked eye yes <clears throat> so this is not an exaggeration this is what it will look like after some time okay okay and the process will keep on continuing and the process will keep the process will keep on continuing till either the electrode gets gets fully out right so it, it, it gets corroded or here here you have no more copper ions right no more copper ions here so all have got and got deposited here and this will start becoming fainter and fainter till it becomes almost white okay fine so what have we done instead of the case when we had put put the zinc electrode straight into into this so so instead of the case
when we had put the zinc electrode straight into the copper sulfate, this was copper sulfate, this was the zinc electrode, and we had seen that there was <coughs> what had happened? That that copper copper sulfate was becoming becoming fainter. Okay? So zinc was actually forcefully, forcefully transferring the the electrons and jumping into the into the solution and it was forcing copper to accept those electrons and move out of the solution <coughs> right and in that transfer you in that electron transfer the heat was getting generated but you were not getting a way to tap the electricity correct here here by separating the two electrons in their respective salt solutions you have achieved what that electron transfer is tappable now you are <coughs> able to tap it okay and it has happened by physically removing them remo removing the one from the other and connecting it through a wire correct you understand so this must have played at the back of the mind of whosoever whosoever rather you know the the fellow who developed it, the Gal, the um, Galvani, right? So, so it was, it was him who must have thought that maybe if you separate them in, in two different beakers and and connect them with a the wire, then you will be perhaps able to tap the the heat. So, so that heat which was getting generated here is now getting generated here. Do you understand? That heat is now getting generated here. So, <clears throat> so, so we have been able to convert it into useful work and that is the philosophy behind a cell, okay, it, that is the philosophy behind a cell, fine, okay.